हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल अप्लाइड फॉरेंसिक रिसोर्स साइंसेस माई सेल्फ शिवांगी राठौर वॉलेंटियर ऑफ अप्लाइड फॉरेंसिक रिसोर्स साइंसेस टुडे आई एम हेयर विद अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज फॉरेंसिक एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ सिग्नेचर पार्ट वन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आवर टॉपिक द कॉन्टेंट विच वी विल बी कवरिंग इन दिस वीडियो आर इंट्रोडक्शन वॉट इज सिग्नेचर some typical signature examination questions classes of signature basic principle of handwriting or signature authentic and forged signature signature individual or class evidence identification of signature equipments significance of signature analysis and the last references so let's start with introduction firstly we will discuss about the term graphology what is graphology graphology is the analysis of physical characteristics and patterns of handwriting and signature claiming to be able to identify the writer indicating the psychological state at the time of writing or evaluating personality characteristics people think handwriting analysis is like vodo or tea leaves it's not it's body movement from your brain it's very logical handwritten notes can keep track your daily to do's or your gratitude list but the way you form and space your letters can also reveal a lot about who you are at least according to graphology or handwriting analysis understanding of the term graphology we need to learn about what is signature signature is a combined result of cumulative effect of a number of factors such as muscular control coordination health age frequency of writing temperature etc signature serve as mean of identification and are typically used in the course of business to authorize financial transaction or even establish the legality of important documents let us discuss about types of signature there are several types of signature but few are listed here with their examples the first one is strike through signature in which the first letter having a stroke second track back signature in which the last letter having track back moment third extra stroke in signature in which we will see that each letter having a special stroke fourth extremely big first letter in which the first letter size is extremely big in comparison to other letters fifth a straight signature in which you can see the straight movement of the signature sixth a small signature the whole signature size is very small seventh camouflage signature it is also known as eligible signature in which makes some attention seeking strokes the people simply camouflage the signature by circling the initial letters the first question comes to our mind that what type of question will rise during analysis of signature that is is the signature genuine is the document forged is the same person the author of several signatures did someone guide a person's hand as well was signed did the doctor come back later and alter the signature did the signer of the document also initial the changes what is written under the crossed out portion of the signature was the signature written on the date indicated are there erasures on the signatures are there alteration and obliteration on the signature what was originally written or signed before the alteration or under the alteration next is classes of signature signature is classified into four classes first one is formal signature which is basically used on wills and other documents second one is informal signature which is basically used in routine documents and personal correspondence third one is careless scribble 
which are basically seen in credit cards, mail deliveries, autographs or hotel registration forms. Fourth one is autographs which are usually used by celebrities. So let's understand the basic principle of handwriting or signature. No two skilled writers exhibit identical signature features. Every person has a range of natural variation to his or her signature. No two writer can exceed his or her skill level. That is, it would not be possible for a marginally literate person who has only learned to produce very basic hand printed letters to execute perfectly formed highly skilled cursive writing. Let's discuss about the term authentic signature. It is the combination of writing characters which are consistent with natural conditions surrounding the signed document. These characters are totally incompatible with the state of mind of forger. The genuine signature reveals lack of attention of the writing process. Authentic writers has no fear of being accused as a forger does. He writes freely and subconsciously because he has been signing his signature for years. As we know about the authentic signature, we will discuss here about the characteristic of authentic signature are as follows. Written rapidly, have rhythm when written by experienced writer with proper health, may miss certain informations, introduce certain other forms, end stroke flourish, the ending of letter are generally smooth, natural free flowing appearance. Next is forged signature. Forgery in a strict sense is a legal term and its use as a conclusion should probably be avoided by the question document examiner. The signature which are practiced illegally or not genuine are termed as forged signature. And the characteristics of the forged signature are appearance of being slowly written, lack of rhythm and generally individuality unnatural appearance, appearance of being drawn attention towards formation of letters, general indication of non-genuine non signature may include blunt starts and stops, pen lifts and hesitation, tremor, patching, etc. Now, types of forgery. Forgeries are categorized into five types. First, simple forgery in which the forger does not imitate the signature of the other person but he simply signs his own signature without any imitation. Second, traced forgery. Here the forger traces the original signature on the other document. Third, simulated or freehand forgery. The forger practices the genuine signature and tries to imitate the same signature on the other document. Lifted forgery. Here tape, lift, tape is used to lift off a signature then place it on another document. Transplanted forgery. It is usually done on the stamps. Here are some examples of forgeries which is done by me. First one is tape lifting forgery in which tape is used to lift off a signature then place it on another document. Second one is hand free forgery. Free hand simulation is just a little more advanced than simple forgery. When a person attempts free hand simulation, they have a simple of signature to look at. Here I try to recreate the shape and the styling of the signature and we compare it. Third, traced forgery. When a signature is copied by using tracing method, a person will attempt to reproduce the most obvious or prominent feature of a signature. Here I can try to reproduce it. We can easily compare it and find evidence of document forgery for tracing by tracing. As you all know in previous uploaded video the topic 
truth serum test in that the question is who is the father of truth serum and the options are robert house b raman joseph c ramesh nayak d none of the above and the correct answer is robert house we have also given the correct answer in the description box thank you now at the end it's time to mcq let us check how much you learn about the signature analysis so the question is which of the following characteristic of genuine signature or authentic signature as opposed to forged signature and the options are a unnatural pen lifts b pen stroke with tapering ends c pen stroke with blunt ends d pen stroke with slant ends and do post the correct answer in your comment section to know what is the correct answer thank you for watching if you like the video content and want to know more interesting facts about signature analysis stay tuned with our youtube channel we will continue it on our next video if you find video informative do like share and subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for our latest upcoming video thank you